Anime, Lutaku, opening. I probably needed a lot more than that. We were cut on budget. Let me clarify what's going on here. This is the newest Lutaku box. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. Anime, of course, is pertaining to the contents of what you'll find inside the box. Yeah, I realized I did kind of abbreviate everything at the beginning of that intro. I'm all about a breathing. A breathe. Anyways, the anime is the stuff that you'll find inside the box with the contents containing statues, t-shirts, and more. Lutaku is the name of the box, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and open up the box. I believe this is November. It possibly could be December, but I guess we'll know soon enough. Of course, the contents will be revealed as we go ahead and get this opened up. I'm going to use my knife, Knifey McGee. Cutting what seems to be three seals, one on the one side, right there. There we go. One on the other side, no pressure, everybody's watching. No pressure, everybody's watching. Cut that on the other side like that. And then there's one big one right in the middle. Actually, that's not true. It's the same size as the others. Gonna go ahead and get that opened up. And there's a whole lot of stuff happening inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can certainly see it. Let's start and get all the stuff opened up. The first thing we're gonna pull out from the tickle trunk of anime is a Bandai Dragon Ball Z. This is considerably heavy. Uh, on the side of the box, there's the back of the box. Doesn't really, does it say the name of the character? It does not. The pamphlet inside, rest assured we will be looking at that, will tell us exactly who this character is. Or if you guys are astute viewers and very knowledgeable of the Dragon Ball uh, mythos, cartoon and the characters i'm sure you guys will also tell me as well you guys are very smart i've never actually really watched dragon ball that's not true that's not true back in the day which i believe was a wednesday i actually used to go to a friend's house and his younger brother got me into dragon ball z for a very short amount of time i think i might have watched possibly four episodes i liked trunks does that give me any any clouts? Does that beef up my lack of knowledge now? I like Trunks, but that was about the only time I really got into Dragon Ball. That being said, I really do like the statues. It really goes to show, as I'm opening this all up, it goes to show that if you even aren't a big fan of, or maybe like myself, you don't have time to watch anime, you can certainly still find appreciation with the statues and the things that you'll find inside this box or any of the Lutaku boxes. There's a floating head. Don't worry, we're going to add on to that. I notice everything is sort of compact. Normally, you'd have to add the torso to the lower half of the body, and then you'd have to add the head on top of that. In this case, it seems like everything is already assembled. It looks like I'm only going to have to add the head, add the leg to this display stand, and then we're good to go. So there's the bottom of the display stand, contoured to the leg. I think it actually goes on this side. Or does it go on this side? I believe it goes on this side. I'm looking at the way the grooves, the shape of the foot, seems to line up with the shape of the foot here. Or does it? Now I'm questioning. No, no, I was wrong in the first place. It actually goes right there, which makes sense because the texturing, you saw the interior cavity of that, that fit perfectly around the leg. Then we can go ahead and add the head. Slide that in place, just like that. There we go. What a neat looking statue. Look at the tons of shading that they've been able to incorporate into the musculature there. Very, very cool. I don't have it at all. I don't think I have it all the way down. There we go. What a neat looking figure. Neat looking statue. Anybody know the names of this character? You can let me know down below in the comments section. I'm sure we'll know soon enough, as of course we're going to be opening up and eventually looking at the insert card as well. Moving along, we also have The Amazing Heroes Volume 6. And this is also from the folks over at Bandai. There it is on the back. And this is, I guess, Shota Ezawa. Pronunciation, I apologize well in advance. I guess I can't really apologize well in advance, seeing as I've either correctly pronounced his name or horribly, horribly botched it. Needless to say, we're going to open up the sides, open up the other side here, just like that, just like that, just like that. There we go. 
and opening up the contents as we normally do. We're going to build this statue on camera. It's not quite the feat you think it is. Very little steps involved. There's probably only about three, four pieces tops. But we're going to pull out the contents. And I think I am correct. There's only a few things to build. I'm going to slide everything over here, slide the Dragon Ball Z character over, and put the other box right there. You'll see quickly when it comes to the uh, Lutaku boxes how space becomes a commodity. A commodity? Is that is that the word I'm looking for? It probably isn't. It becomes certainly limited as all the stuff that we're opening up, eventually putting all together. There's the head. There we go. Uh, some straps. I think that goes around the neck. We're going to cut that out, take that out. Uh, there's also one right here as well. I'm wanting to make sure I don't miss anything. The last thing I would certainly want is to leave off a piece. There's the base. There's the main base. We can get that cut open as well. I'm certainly meeting my quota for cutting things in this video. And we're going to go ahead and get that cut open as well. Just a quick glance. Everybody survey the... There we go. Survey the land. Make sure we didn't miss out on anything. No stragglers left behind. I try my best not to leave any stragglers behind. I'm going to go ahead and get the base put together. I see a large peg. I see a small peg. I see a large hole. I see a small hole. I guess that tells us which way this is going to go. Just like that. Then we can take the character. I think this goes... Oh, there's tab points here. The tab goes on one side of the shoulder, like that. And then fits also into the other side of the shoulder. Just like that. The head then goes into that socket. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like how the wrappings have slightly covered his face, distorting it a little bit. And then, how does this go? This goes, I'm guessing, I am guessing here, I guess it goes into the hand, but which hand goes where? Let's look at the side of the box here. Let's look at the back. Okay, so this, this I feel connects to something. Does it connect to this somehow? I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm looking around. I guess not. It's sort of in a different pose than... Okay, so this goes... I guess this goes like this. Oh, there's a hole. There is a hole. No, well, that's not a hole. There is a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a hole right on the hand. I've only got this little section right here that has somewhat of a hole. I don't know if that's supposed to go there or not. I guess if anything, you can slide it up into the fingers in the palm. Like that. Does that seem right? That seems hopefully right. And then this other piece goes, I guess it goes into the hand this way. Does that, does that, does that seem right? It doesn't seem right. The problem is, of course, lack of instructions. I feel like this goes here. I'm probably not even right by that assumption. What am I missing here? I feel like this goes right here, unless I've got it completely reversed. Maybe it goes, does it go down into the hand? Somehow it's supposed to connect from here, which I think I've got. Let's just look at the box once again. See, it's supposed to go like this. That turns this way. I've got the hand, I think, right, right? That seems like the same curl, curl right there. And then somehow this is supposed to go like here. But I'm not really sure how. I guess I could just tuck the top part in, just like that. Does that, does that seem right? I guess that is, yeah, there we go. It seems a little longer, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It looks a little longer on this than it does on there. But anyways, I'm gonna connect this too, I'm sorry. I ate up a lot of your time trying to figure out how this went. What a neat looking statue though. I love the pose. Definitely adds a lot of layers of, uh, there's a lot of energy happening in this particular statue. I know I feel like I don't have this in correctly, but gosh darn it, that's a neat looking statue. Gonna put that right over there, just like that. And let's see what else we got going on in the tickle trunk of anime. I see some pins, I see some t-shirts. Let's go ahead and get those all opened up now. I uh, got a couple of pins. One is Lutaku Gurren Lagan. I guess it's the name of the series. And then we got Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan. 
This is enamel pin release of 450 individually numbered. What a very intricate looking pin. You can see how that pins on the back. Thank goodness they got three backs to it. Because I feel like that would be a very hefty pin to put on a denim jacket perhaps. And then the other one is my Hero Academia. And this is NG Todoroki. This is the Flame Hero Endeavor. Uh, this one doesn't have, it seems, a limited release number. But a neat looking pin nonetheless. Good substantial sized pin. Boy oh boy. Uh, the next one we have is Decidia, Final Fantasy, Opera, uh, Omnia, and these are Trading Arts. Now that's Cloud. Is it Cloud? I'm trying to remember what his name is. I think it's Cloud. Uh, let's look on the back here. Yeah, Cloud. All right. At least I know. <laughs> at least I know something. Let's open up it and see which one we got inside. Just like that. That, and get this all opened up. You know, it's funny enough, Final Fantasy VII was about the only Final Fantasy I really got into. And this is not from Final Fantasy VII. I think this is what, from Final Fantasy VIII? Let's have a look at the back here. This is Squall. Squall. I don't, it's not from Seven. I believe he is from VIII. Somebody's going to tell me down below. I'm going to go ahead and get that opened up very carefully. I didn't want to cut my finger in the process of that. I'm going to cut the base as well, just like that. Take out the base, and we're also going to get the head going there as well. Whoop! let's not drop the head. Hold on one second. Whew, that was a close call. Floor claimed another one, but I was able enough to retrieve it. Pop the head in place. The head seems like it's, it's really reluctant. Get the head going in there. Get in there, head. Uh, well, it's it's not quite in there. Is it supposed to go one way? Maybe it's supposed to go this way, sideways? The neck does, I guess maybe, it's supposed to be like that. Can't seem to get the head down any further than that. And we'll just go ahead and attach the figure to the base. It goes like this. It seems to have a unique way, a specific way, that has to connect into place. So we're going to connect the two just like that. Connect this one. This one doesn't want to go in. Ugh, ugh. There we go. There we go. And we got ourselves like a little tiny small squall. A small squall. I'm just double checking. Yeah, squall. Somebody tell me what game this is from. I believe it's Final Fantasy VIII. And let's see what else we got in this box. There's still more to go. Still a whole lot more. And I think maybe while we're at it, I'm going to grab the t-shirt and I'm also going to grab the insert card because I'm still trying to figure out the name of that Dragon Ball Z and I'm sure somebody is getting, somebody's being driven crazy by the idea that I don't know what that is. So I'm going to find out soon enough with really the only the last thing to do is to open up and reveal the t-shirt. And I got to tell you, one thing I do get look forward to when it comes to opening up these boxes from Lutaku. Of course, yes, there's the statues. But you always get really neat t-shirts as well. Let's see if this one is no exception. Well, that's Final Fantasy, all right. And I'm trying to... Sephiroth? If is it Sephiroth? <laughs> With his one wing? I believe that's what it is. It's a neat looking t-shirt, and I believe in also an exclusive. I know it's an exclusive because it says Lutaku up at the top there. What a neat looking t-shirt. Probably going to wear that today. All right, members of the mob, let's have a look at the stuff we've got going on inside here. This was for the October box. I actually thought it was September or November. I think Lutaku is a bit behind on some of their shipping. Uh, they just recently shipped this one out, and then about a couple of days ago, they also shipped out another box, so maybe they're trying to play catch-up. But this is from October 2019, entitled Fan Faves 2, containing My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, and Final Fantasy. Of the things that we got inside, we got a My Hero Academia band Presto the Amazing Heroes Volume 6. This was Shouta Azewa. And I know I've... Oh, I just know I didn't pronounce that correctly. Dragon Ball Z was the band Presto Posing series Super Saiyan Bardock. That's probably why I wouldn't have, would not have known the name. Other than Goku and, of course, the main characters, Bardock I probably would not have remembered. From the Dragon Ball Z comes the figure of Bardock in his SSJ form. 
Bardock strikes a pose in this figure that stands 6.6 .6 inches tall. Bardock figures don't come that often, especially ones in his, in his legendary Super Saiyan form. We also got the Final Fantasy t-shirt of Sephiroth. I was right. I think I said off. I think it's off. There you go, Sephiroth. The Lutaku Limited Edition exclusive. This month's t-shirt features none other than one of the best antagonists in the series. It's Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. Each t-shirt is numbered edition with individually numbered on the bottom. Oh, it is. Let's have a look at the bottom then. Just check the bottom. Oh, there it is, right there. Limited collection of 360. This humbled reviewer got 341. Also in contained inside was the Square Enix Final Fantasy. What is it? Square Enix. I keep calling it Enix. Square Enix Final Fantasy Dissidia Opera Omnia Trading Arts. And then there was also the Lutaku Limited Edition pin of My Hero Academia of NG Todoroki from the Flame Hero Endeavor. We did also get that one other pin, but I believe it was playing catch up to the fact that they didn't have this pin in a previous box. And that was one of the reasonings why we got the extra pin. It's not listed here, but it's obviously, the proof is in the pudding. I'm physically holding it in my hand. It's right here. If you add up all the trinkets, all the goodies inside this month's box of October, you get a grand total of 93 US dollars. So that's not bad considering everything that you get inside this month's box. If you are interested in subscribing to the Lutaku box, a simple case of going to www.lutaku.com, putting in all your necessaries, and you'll get yourself next month's box. Now again, we're just opened this box. Got another box from Lutaku that just arrived a day or so ago. We're going to get that one opened up as well. That obviously is probably going to be November, so I think they're playing some catch up right now, uh, getting us ready then into the year of 2020. I still feel like I'm talking about the future. Speaking of the future and your immediate future, members of the mob, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And make sure periodically you check over at the homepage, see if there's any videos that you may have missed along the way. Speaking of videos, just between you and me and the other seven people in this room, don't tell anybody, the producers, I'm gonna keep it really quiet. I don't want the producers to hear. There's a whole lot of videos coming your way. Oh wait, no, they got headphones on. They, they know exactly what I'm saying. A whole lot of videos coming your way, so I guess I don't even really have to do this. Coming your way in the year 2020, so keep your peepers peeled for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.